It's warming up outside and your pets will be sure to feel it too. Glendale firefighters are spreading awareness to not only hikers, but to their dogs as well. Cronkite News reporter Amanda Kukula is live with us to tell us what precautions to take as the temperatures start to heat up. Out here on the streets in downtown Phoenix, it's warm and the high today is in its 90s. And if it's warm for you, it's warm for your pets as well. Something that uh, needs to be done, especially hiking in Arizona, always have your water with you and know your limits. As April comes around, the temperatures in Arizona are starting to spike. Glendale Fire Department, as well as search dogs Koa and Brewer, gathered today at Thunderbird Conservation Park, warning hikers and their dogs to start the summer off right. People just don't realize, you know, Arizona is typically so beautiful and um, when that heat kicks in, it really does change uh, the atmosphere and it changes the way that you uh, need to approach it. Jones says it's just as important for your dog to stay hydrated as it is for you. We get called quite often for um, dog related heat illnesses. Um, people call 911 and we've lost a few in the past. So it's really important that, um, you know, our animals are our loved ones and making sure that we protect them just as, as we do ourselves as we go out to hike, um, just making sure that they're protected as well. Mindy Cuthbertson, an avid hiker, says make sure to get the exercise with your dog in early. I would just go first thing in the morning. I never would run at this time of day if it was this warm outside. I put myself through the torture, but not my dog. And Glendale Fire Captain David Colson says pet owners should know the symptoms of heat exhaustion. And if your dog's not acting appropriate, starts wobbling, uh, having a lot of excessive white drool, very dried out drooling. And when in doubt, Roger recommends one thing. If you feel that uh, you are getting hot, it's time to stop and take a break and perhaps return back to your car. Now, typically the concrete is about 30 degrees warmer than the average temperature outside. But by testing it with just the back of your hand for about five to 10 seconds, if you can tolerate it, then they can as well. Live in downtown Phoenix, Amanda Kukula, Cronkite News.